Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is MRAPSK. It is the last topic for unit number 2 of the subject digital communication. In the description box, mein, I will be giving you the list of videos in a sequence which we have uh, studied earlier uh, as far as unit number 1 and 2 are concerned. In this video, we'll discuss generation and reception of MRAPSK, then bandwidth of this MRAPSK and at the end of this session, we'll discuss the most important part that is comparison between the different PSK techniques which we have studied up till now. अब देखो इसके पहले के वीडियो में हम लोगों ने QPSK लर्न किया है व्हाट वी लर्न इन QPSK इन केस ऑफ क्वाड्रेचर फेस शिफ्ट की QPSK वी मेड अ ग्रुप ऑफ टू सक्सेसिव बिट्स मतलब दो सक्सेसिव बिट्स लेके एक सिंबल जनरेट किया सो देयर वेयर फोर पॉसिबल सिंबल्स हाउ वी कैलकुलेटेड इट वी डिड इट लाइक दिस 2 रेज टू 2 दैट इज 2 रेज टू n इज इक्वल्स टू m M is 4, that means we generated 4 symbols. Likewise, ये सिर्फ 2 bits का group किया था हमने QPSK में. Instead of this, we can make the group of N number of bits, that is called MRAPSK. So, group of N successive bits, capital N can be anything like 2, 4, 8 and so on. So, group of N successive bits forms one symbol. The symbol duration is NTB. In case of QPSK, the symbol duration was 2TB where TB is the duration of each bit. It is called bit duration. In this case, may I get N into TB because we are forming a group of N bits. Then M symbols are related to N number of bits which we are considering while forming a symbol as M is equal to 2 raised to N. Then each symbol differs from uh, other symbol by the phase 2 pi by m radians. Then there is one concept Euclidean distance. Basically this term Euclidean distance is the distance between two successive bits. Just see a signal space diagram draw here. This is the two axis hai, phi 1 of t and phi 2 of t. These are orthonormal axis. This is same as that of uh, QPSK. सिर्फ uh, QPSK में हम लोगों ने चार सिंबल्स लर्न किए इसमें there are many symbols depending on the uh, number of uh, bits you are considering to make a symbol so I have denoted symbols by S0, S1, S2 up to uh, there can be m number of symbols okay अब equilibrium distance means the distance between two consecutive bits like distance between S0 and S1 then distance between S1 and S2 and so on so Euclidean distance is given by root ES which is root PS into TS. Now mathematical equation for MRAPSK is root PS cos omega CT plus phi M where phi M is the phase angle which is given as 2M plus 1 into pi upon capital M where small m there is from 0, 1 up to M minus 1. Next is PSD that is power spectral density and bandwidth of MRAPSK. The mathematical equation for power spectral density is 2 PS N TB. TB is the symbol duration. N means number of bits that we are considering while forming the symbol. In the bracket sign pi FN TB upon pi FN TB. We know the mathematical identity. If any equation is like this sine of pi X divided by pi X x can be anything then it is denoted by sinc of x it is a sinc function so basically it is a sinc function and a square this term indicates magnitude of a sinc squared function so graph is a standard graph as shown in this diagram zero pe ye jo value likha hai this is the magnitude that is 2 ps n tp ये जो वैल्यूज है, it is one by ts and on other side, negative side, the value is minus one by ts. We know that bandwidth is difference between the two frequencies, so it is one by ts, that is maximum value minus minimum value, that is minus of minus one by ts. So this becomes two by ts, where ts is the symbol time. 
so this is the equation of a bandwidth but we know that ts is equals to n into tb again n means number of bits that we are using to form a symbol tb is the duration of bit or bit duration so bandwidth can be written as 2 upon n tb now a well known equation frequency that is fb frequency of a bit is reciprocal of time period so it can be expressed as 1 by tb so this equation of bandwidth is 2 fp upon n so this is the mathematical equation of bandwidth for mra psk this is the block diagram for transmitter section of mra psk this is called transmitter or generation block diagram for generation of mra psk Keep in mind, PSK is basically phase shift king. That means phase of a signal or output should be changed according to the incoming signal. It is MRA because we are generating M symbols by taking combination of capital N number of bits. Now, digital input data is B of T, which is first applied to serial to parallel converter. Yes, simple as the name indicates. It converts the serial incoming data into the parallel form. Now, I have written a duration here. This duration is n into tb. What it indicates? This block, serial to parallel converter, keeps the data for this much duration, n into tb. And after that, it converts it into parallel form. So, you can say n into tb is the duration for which the data is hold by serial to parallel converter till it times, but the each time period ke baad, it converts it into a parallel form till that time it is accepting new data and it is basically assembling new data for the formation of next uh, symbols. So, in a simple language, serial to parallel converter is the block which converts incoming serial data into the parallel form. So, at the output of this block, you will get n bit symbols marked as 0, 1, 2 up to n minus 1. This output, which is in parallel form, is given to DAC. Ab dekho, DAC matlab digital to analog converter. As the name indicates, it converts this digital signal into the analog form. It is basically in terms of analog voltage, which is denoted by VA. This analog voltage takes m distinct values matlab analog voltage hai usme alag alag variations ho gaye amplitude mein variations ho gaye there are m distinct values where m means number of symbols which are generated in mra psk then last block is sine wave generator ye jo analog voltage hai it is having m distinct values sine wave generator as the name indicates produces a sine wave which is basically giving output as of uh, mra psk lekin iska amplitude constant rahega phase that is phi m will change according to the variation in analog voltage va so this is the way how mra psk signal is generated next is receiver section of mra psk dekho ye jo receiver circuit hai this is almost same as that of receiver section of uh, qpsk sirf difference kya hai yahan pe pehla block qpsk mein hum log ne aisa likha tha raised uh, input to fourth power yahan pe instead of four because we were generating four symbols in qpsk in this case instead of four the, it is raised to m symbol because uh, uh, there are n total number of symbols then bandpass filter whose center frequency is nfc which as i said everything is same that of qpsk which we have already learned then frequency divider by m it generates two signals two carrier signals cos omega ct and sin omega ct they are applied to the multipliers another input to this multiplier this upper and lower multiplier another input to these multipliers is mra psk signal which is s of t then outputs of both the multipliers upper and lower multiplier are applied to the integrator integrator basically integrates the signal from 0 to ts where ts is the symbol time period so accordingly integrator performs the integration and it generates two outputs 
Ts into Pe that is for E1 signal and Ts into P0 for uh, odd signal and then both these outputs of integrator are applied to analog to digital reconverter because this is a receiver section so we need to back generate the digital output signal. So ADC as the name indicates produces the output signal which is in digital form it generates the digital data from 0 to n minus 1 that means it generates the bits from 0 to n minus 1 and finally we need the data in the serial form that means we need to generate the uh, sequence b of t so we are using parallel to serial conversion now let us discuss one numerical they go in numericals both simple with a simple up to formula i have made a list of formulae which uh, is required as far as this different psk techniques are concerned so symbol rate ts uh, for BPSK it is TB, TB is the bit duration, QPSK it is 2 times TB, MRA, PSK it is N into TB, where N we know that N is the number of uh, bits which is which are used to form a symbol, bandwidth, ye BPSK, QPSK or MRA, PSK ke alag alag formula ka list mene bana hai, we will make use of this formula while solving the numerical, the given problem is in a digital CW communication system the bit rate of NRZ that is not return to zero data stream is 1 Mbps. Ab dekho, 1 Mbps means 1 into 10 raised to 6 and carrier frequency is 100 megahertz. Presently we are not making use of carrier frequency for any calculation. Then find symbol rate and bandwidth. Toh, matlab ye, symbol rate or bandwidth calculate karna hai for first part BPSK, second part QPSK, third part 16 RA PSK. Ab, Pahila calculation, first part, we are talking, we will be doing calculation for BPSK, that is uh, binary phase shift king. Symbol rate, usse pahle, ye jo given, uh, we have the given NRZ data stream, whose value is 1 into 10 raised to 6, because it is 1 Mbps. So from this, I can calculate TB, that is bit duration as 1 upon 1 into 10 raised to 6, which is, 10 raised to minus 6 मतलब ये bit duration आएगा 1 microsecond now remaining part remaining calculations are pretty simple direct formula based है पहला calculation हम लोग BPS की के लिए कर रहे है symbol rate is equals to TB so I will write symbol rate TS is equals to TB value of TB is 1 microsecond so symbol rate is 1 microsecond then Bandwidth, look at the formula, bandwidth is 2 by TB, so in this case, I can express the bandwidth as, band, look at the formula for BPSK, it is 2 by TB, TB is 1 microsecond, so it is 2 upon 1 microsecond, means 1 into 10 raised to minus 6, so bandwidth will be 2 megahertz, very simple. ये ten, denominator में 10 raise to minus 6 है, numerator में transfer करेंगे, तो 2 into 10 raise to 6 आएगा, मतलब 2 megahertz. This is calculation of first part, that is, we have done the calculation for BPSK. Same for QPSK, formula देखो, QPSK के लिए TS का value 2 TB. So very simple, we have TB is equal to 1 microsecond, so 2 TB will be 2 microseconds. This is the symbol rate. Uh, for QPSK system, then bandwidth of QPSK is 1 by TB. Therefore, bandwidth in case of QPSK, look at the formula, it is 1 by TB, that is 1 upon 1 microsecond, that is 1 into 10 raised to minus 6. So, it is same as 1 megahertz. Same logic. Denominator में 10 raise to minus 6 आ रहा है, तो हम लोग numerator में transfer करेंगे, it becomes 10 raise to 6, that is 1 megahertz. Then last part, third part, अब देखो, इसके लिए ये 16 array PSK दिया है, 16 array PSK, we have the basic formula for m array PSK, 2 raise to n is equals to m, given value of m is 16, therefore, 2 raised to n is equals to 16, therefore n is equals to 4, because 2 raised to 4 is equals to 16. 
Now symbol rate, it is n into TB. So I am doing calculation for third part, that is 16 RA PSK. 16 RA means value of M is 16. So uh, the symbol rate TS is n into TB. So in this case, TS is equals to value of n is 4, 4 into TB, value of TB is 1 microseconds. So it becomes 4 microseconds. Then bandwidth, look at the formula of bandwidth. It is 2 FB upon N. 2 FB is 1 megahertz. That is 1 into 10 raised to 6 upon N is 4. So if you solve this, the bandwidth will be 500 kilohertz. So as I said, these are pretty simple uh, numericals. You just have to memorize this formula. You can attempt any numerical. Now, last part of this unit, comparison between PPSK, QPSK and BFSK. I have made a chart of comparison by considering different parameters, mathematical equation, then bit per symbol. Uh, I have written all the values, then bandwidth, it is 2FB, then FB and 4FB. Uh, TB is the symbol duration, so FB is reciprocal of it, that is frequency of each symbol. Then uh, symbol duration is written. Probability of error. This is the mathematical equation for probability of error. If you can't remember these equations, do remember it. For QPSK, probability of error is lowest uh, compared to BPSK and uh, BFSK. And applications high speed model, then uh, QPSK is used for very high speed applications and uh, BFSK is used for medium speed uh, models. So, Dear students, that's it for today's session and that's it for unit number two. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this series.